so I want to talk for a bit um, about hypocrisy and evil um, and basketball. Now, for those of you who've been following me for some time, um, you know uh, I'm not really a basketball person, right? Um, for me, my, my chosen sports are MMA or parkour or something that could make me really good at fighting or, or some other thing that could be like useful during an apocalypse scenario, you could say. Um, and so I'll watch fights for technique. I'll, um, you know, I'll watch store vids fucking for hours, uh, trying to absorb as much information about how to do parkour properly as possible. Um, and it's helped me a lot do that stuff IRL. And I think I could probably competently do, um, at least some kind of fighting IRL. I kind of want to try out street beefs at some point, but I don't think there's one in Spokane. If you know that there is, uh, hit me up. Um, but either way, <clears throat> today, uh, for those of you who've been following me for a bit, uh, you, you know that I have been opposing the sort of social media corruption machine for a while now, and that a key aspect of the social media corruption machine is um, that they do this stupid thing where they'll put in the traditionally trending section, they'll put there something that suits their bias and helps their bottom line. It helps their you know, strategic partners stay in power. You know, their chosen few fucking publications um, that, they, that they're that they okay with. Um, Bloomberg, for instance, like the other day I went over the fact that Bloomberg, who Twitter regularly elevates, is a piece of shit. And his publications continue to, like, <laughs> jut him tens of billions of dollars. Um, but today... Their chosen publication of choice was fucking Daily Beast. And uh, the article in question caught me eye, it did. Um, and the article in question, which was on Twitter's trending section, right? The section that they control and editorialize. This one. Where <laughs> he has the audacity... To share something that's fucking true. It's just true. There's nothing false in the video he shared. And you'll be able to hear that uh, shortly here. But look at this fucking article. Look at this shit. That Twitter promoted. Twitter wants people to see this article. They unfairly and potentially illegally promote shit like this. They'll push shit like this to the fore, and then when their particular biased opinion trends, well, wow! We have such a progressive and awesome platform, don't we? We just, we do everything right here. Anyway, point is, this is what it is. So I want you to really drink in this first part here. Unhinged Axton's clip about secret societies and engineered plagues. <gasps> and then the, 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 the fucking subtitle here is Keep Your Day Job. So they're threatening him. That's a threat. I don't fucking care what you think. That's a threat. That is the establishment. The establishment media saying that if you share things like this, we are going to threaten your work. We are going to threaten to take away your job. And was it wrong? No. And here's where it gets real fun. If you look at the body text, 
Kyrie Irving, unfortunately, shared a 2002 InfoWars video on Thursday in which mega conspiracy theorist Alex Jones rants about secret societies, corrupt empires, and government overlords, supposedly wanting worldwide rule in a cashless society, total and complete tyranny. Yeah, like, there's no way they want that, right? Or maybe that's exactly what they want, and I've been saying things like this for years. You know? Maybe. Uh, and I'm on a similar page with AJ in this regard. Maybe. Maybe because it's, like, the logical thing to think when they're ramping everything up like this. You know? Maybe. And maybe that's why I wrote this one, too. Maybe. Because, like, basically a year later, it was all starting to happen, maybe. But clearly the Daily Beast knows more than me, even though I'm right and this is just a fucking paragraph. They have this entire thing called the Cheat Sheet, which is where they do hack-ass yellow journalism in, like, a few paragraphs or less. And uh, it's a stupid blurb that they could have fit into a Twitter thread that they then throw on their journalistically credible website so that you can read that instead of anything meaningful. That's what the Daily Beast is. It's n meaningless drivel that Twitter constantly pushes to the fore. You know, it's garbage. Like, there, a few pieces occasionally crop up to keep people who are interested in any substance at all interested at all, right? But this is garbage, you know? Jones, who's been sued by victims' parents for claiming that Sandy Hook Massacre was staged, rambles in the video. See, that's really dishonest. It's really fucking dishonest. Because this happens before that. And not a lick of that is mentioned. So, this happened before that, and they're trying to frame it like, Mmm, he's just at it again, doing his crazy Sandy Hook-style stuff before he was even doing that. They're, they're just lying. Like, trying to get you to believe this when any mild scrutiny would tell you that they're full of shit, right? But, but they, they move on. Rambles in the video that the government becomes God, basically, when it comes to your health. And then, by releasing diseases and viruses and plagues upon us, we then basically get shoved into their system. They then go on to smear Irving for his views on vaccines, for uh, saying unfounded health information, uh, and also flat earthing, which he doesn't fucking believe in anymore. Right? Um, if you go to any other site than the Daily Beast, which has, like, more than a paragraph about this, um, the one paragraph Twitter wants you to read, because Twitter is a bunch of hack-ass pieces of shit, the one paragraph they want you to read, uh, if you go to any, uh, site that doesn't have the one paragraph they want you to read, you'll find more information, which is why, um, you know, they include this thing from New York Basketball, which includes 15 seconds of the, like, 30-plus second clip. I had to go, like, look up the fuller version of this clip. And guess who it comes from? It comes from um, the Free Thought Project. So the original clip was from the Free Thought Project, and I want you to tell me, is anything in this fucking wrong? The facts and common sense are in. Yes, there have been corrupt empires. Yes, they manipulate. Yes, there are secret societies. Yes, there have been oligarchies throughout history. And yes, today, in 2002, there is a tyrannical organization calling itself the New World Order, pushing for worldwide government, a cashless society, total and complete tyranny. By centralizing and socializing health care, the state becomes God, basically, when it comes to your health. And then by releasing diseases and viruses and plagues upon us, we then basically get shoved into their system where human beings are absolutely worthless. Now, that's fucking true. 
okay? That's fucking true. I don't care what anybody is is gonna is gonna say because I've already done enough research to know that that's just a factual fucking statement. That there's nothing not factual about that statement. Um, and and if you scroll up in this article, which still like tries to paint him in a really fucking bad light, right? Um, there's at least paragraphs where it says that he's rescinded his flat earth thing. So the Daily Beast is lying to you and trying to get you to believe that Kyrie Irving, a basketball player who, because, you know, I don't follow basketball, not because of any statement about him, but because I don't follow basketball, I never heard of this fucking guy, right? But this guy rescinded his previous beliefs about this. And Daily Beast, in their stupid fucking little blurb, their hack-ass bullshit smear job, failed to include even that basic fact about his flat earthing because they want to make him seem as insane and non-credible as possible for their smear job where they're lying about him. <laughs> you know? Right? So, I just, this piece is, is, is better than the other piece, but it's still not fucking good because, hey, every time you bring up this guy, you've got to bring up this Andy Hook. Just hang it like an albatross around his neck. Never let it die. Exploit the victims f so much fucking further by just shoving this down all of our throats until, you know... Until the story doesn't mean anything anymore. That's what the mainstream press is doing. And this one's also concerned with the viruses and plagues. But the US government never does that, right? That would be bad, fucking right? Hey, wow. Look at this fucking shit. Where the Washington fucking Post is saying it. This is on the Washington Post. From 1970 fucking 7, before Alex Jones had any prominence. You can't blame Alex Jones for this idea having spread. He just says it too. You fucking lying hacks. It's just true. They admitted it. There's nothing false in that entire clip. They want a cashless society. They're literally pushing for CBDC and ID2020 for the Digital Dollar Project. They're pushing for a global world of CBDC with the fucking World Economic Forum and WHO collaborating. They do want this to happen. So shut the fuck up if you're going to say it's not true. You're lying. Okay? Um, so just to be super clear, this is what Twitter is pushing, you know? And it's not just the Washington Post in 1977, either. It's also CBS 20 fucking years ago. We can't talk about a thing that CBS is talking about. Fucking why? Why should I remotely acquiesce to this nightmare dystopia of changing and alternate facts that always benefits the elites. Why should I roll over while they change history in front of you in order to claim that people are insane for repeating what their approved news sources fucking say? It's true! but they don't want you to think about how it's true. They didn't even want you to Google it. Oh, hey, look, here's another conversation about how they might have done it with ticks because they did it with, like, other insects already, and they already did a bunch of fucking tests of a bunch of shit, including Project 112. Um, you know, maybe there's something more to this idea than just claiming that because you don't like Alex Jones, it's fucking wrong.
Could you stop fucking lying and saying that it's somehow just Alex Jones and kooky flat earth tinfoil conspiracy theories? Mmm, no, you're just a piece of shit. And, and you know what's really funny? They're totally okay with, like, elevating black voices, right? As long as they play basketball, dance the dance, do the rap music. They're fine with that. Shucking and jiving, that's what they want. But, you know, you got a strong person here who's proud of his culture. He's proud of his culture. And he's trying to open up people's eyes. He's trying to think for himself instead of just being your brand whore. And you threatened his job. Better stay in line. Now you, you gotta stay in line. Now, I wouldn't, I wouldn't possibly be seeing you step out of line, now would I? Be a real shame if you were stepping out of line. That's what they're saying to him. And because he used his, his platform to talk about shit that matters to him and that is proven and that is true, they will lie and claim that it's not in order to threaten to deplatform him. That's, that's evil. It's just evil. It's another evil plank in the evil bridge to hell and we're all headed there and I, I wanted to just talk about that briefly right CBS Washington Post any of their approved sources can talk about it but as soon as you bring up a non-approved source they can shut you down and threaten your job they can lie about you and smear you and take you down to the lowest fucking level until you grovelingly apologize to them or risk everything. It's evil. Okay? And, and anybody who's pretending it's not is also lying to you or themselves or both in order to believe that the system we live under, which has demonstrably already done all this stuff, stuff that I can cite by the sources that they allegedly approve, that is just a lie, and it's just, you know, innocent fun times all the time with a few little bumps in the road. Ignore the Tuskegee syphilis experiment. Black people should trust the pharmaceutical industry. And if any of them step out of line, threaten their job. Threaten everything. Just threaten to strip everything that they've earned. <sighs> Holy shit. Black Lives Matter Twitter, but you won't let any black lives speak a way you don't like, will you? Fucking pieces of shit. You should all be ashamed of yourself. Ooh, he shared a thing I didn't like on his Instagram. Exactly once. Everybody stop the presses and make sure this trends. I just... I just needed to bring this up. Kyrie, I hope you, uh... I hope you have you know, a peaceful evening. I don't know you. I don't know your career. I don't know your life. But, you know, you seem to care about issues that most people would rather just accept. And that's honorable no matter what they fucking say. I hope you never let them take that from you. And I hope nobody else does either. I hope we can all see this lying, abusive, criminal empire that they're building that nothing in that video was wrong about. Nothing! And I hope we can see clearly to hold hands, reach across the aisles and across demographics, and work 
ever harder against this giant behemoth that can just crush whatever they don't like and silence whoever they hate, whoever steps out of line, so that we can maybe one day get enough of a critical mass of collective power and collective responsibility to smash the fucking state.